Welcome back to Hyper Toad. Hi, this is how to make simple animations in Lightworks. The first thing you're going to do is import your pictures, of course. Once you have the images, go to the Edit tab and add a new video layer. For the bottom video layer, you're going to put your background and then your first your uh, first item to be animated will be on top of that. Then you go to the VFX tab, add a 3D DVE and a 2D DVE. Make sure they're both in the upper clip. Then you're going to go to routing and undo this. You're going to want the routing to look like this. So you go back and on the 3D DVE, you crop the left and right sides. And on the DVE, you scale it down. And if you're going to rotate it, you'll notice that it gets cut off. The way to fix that is that you increase the scale and then increase the Z. And that should make it not do that. Now you're ready to animate it. Click the jump backwards button to move back to the start of the clip. And move the image where you want it to start. Then click the clock next to the C, X, and Y things. You can add more if you want to animate those. Then go to grass. And move it forward to where you want the animation to start in time. And click the plus button for each one. Next, you're going to move to where you want the animation to finish. And you're going to move it however you want. Now it will start moving. We'll see after that it starts moving back. There's not exactly a concrete way to fix this. So you'll just have to move the endpoints the same position so it won't be moving. Or alternatively you could Put the clip at that point and then set the DVEs to match that position. Now what do you want to do if you want multiple layers of animation? You add another video track. And for every animation, for every animation track, need a 2D DVE and a 3D DVE. You want the routing set up like this. So each animation layer goes into its own 3D DVE and then into the foreground of the DVE. The top DVE should be the same as the top track. So I'll go back and set the up and stuff so it's the same as the other one okay that's pretty good so i'll go back to the start of the clip again move it to where i want it to start and let's have this one rotated like that so then do the same thing again you just follow the same process for animating the first layer and you should get something like this. So that's pretty much all at the end of the animations. Of course, they'll still be moving back to their starting position. So if you don't want this, just move it back to the same point as the ending position in the multiple ways there are of doing that. 
I didn't take the time to get it exact, but it shouldn't be moving noticeably. So there you have it, that's how the animated light works. Thanks for watching, bye. Thanks for watching, bye.